Josh. Hi. And today we are going to test some batteries. Some stain power of batteries, huh? So stain, stain power is a good way to say it. We're, we're pitting two batteries against each other. There's yeah. been a long time rivalry. We're not sure which one's going to come out on top, but uh, so we got the Nanotech. Anchoring the fight. 2250. Yes. And we got the uh, Thundercat. 2250. Thunder Power. Yeah. Thundercats is a cartoon. From the 80s. So there you go. That's good. Both of these are 65C, which means it gives about, what, almost 150 amps of constant wow. draw. 150 amps of constant draw. I think it's like 146 point something. Here's the thing, I'm not very technically gifted. And that's why we have our friend from Sweden here. So David, come on in here David and Vindicles talk to us about here. this. Let's give it up for him, everybody. Yeah. Hi, David. Hi. So tell us about this. Yeah, we're gonna test the amp draw of the batteries. Okay. And uh, how we did this is we took um, 28 50 watt bulbs, 12 volt bulbs, halogen lights, which are used in your ceiling for spotlights. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, trouble is, this setup is gonna draw 1200 watts on 12 volts, so that's kind of a lot. Does that exceed what the HK010 can do, it right? It does. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be over 100 amps. As soon as you plug it in, it's gonna be just over 100 amps. Okay. So it, we already killed one of these, so I don't want to do that again. Okay. So what we did is actually we're just going to measure one row of lights. Okay. But since it's parallel, it's going to be a third of the total amperage is going to show on the on the meter. We'll recap, but basically the voltage will be real time for everything. Yeah. The wattage and the amps multiply times three. Yes. Perfect. That's true. Okay. So uh, should we try the thunder power first? Yeah. Might okay. as well. Uh, I need you, Chad, to right. help us with this because okay. it's going to be awkward otherwise. Okay, so when do I disconnect it? At 9 volts would be really good. Okay. And we're going to measure the temperature of the battery as well. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to hit OK on this so we can get... Temperatures on? Temperature on, yes. Okay, so when do I disconnect? 9 volts. 9 volts Nine I'm going to disconnect. Okay, yeah. you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready. Is it going to be right. bright? Oh, oh. yeah. Goodness. It is pretty bright. Okay, so we're at 9.5 and we're drawing 31.4 amps, so 293 watts. It's pretty good. It's sustaining at, it's holding 9.38 volts, 9.4 volts. It's going up again. So that's pretty nice. It's at 80 Fahrenheit, 82 Fahrenheit. So it's actually doing, oh, it's bouncing out, 9.51 9 volts. That's really good. So it's 300 so it's watts almost. Performing like an expensive battery should be safe to say, huh? Yeah, it's it actually does this really well. It's getting hot. It's, it's getting hot. Well, the wires. It's almost 100 degrees. It's, the battery. Okay. Yeah. So let's keep them going. 100. 101. It's climbing. It's yeah. Got a fever. So yeah, 9.32. Um, what temperature? This is really hot. It's 120. That's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. I mean, the side is really Yeah, the fire side's below turn. nine. Okay, that's on target. Okay. Oh, boy, that's hot. Yeah. Can we can we measure the... Connector? Yeah, uh, not the connector, but the wire. Yeah, the connector too. The connector is actually fine, but I want to measure... The wire? The wire of the battery. Wow, that jumped up. 134, 140. 140. Yeah. About it, 140 degrees. 50. Wow. Yeah. Battery's puffed. It is puffed? Yeah, the battery is puffed. Huh. So I'm gonna go set the battery outside. <laughs> That's a good, good idea. idea. Okay, so we're, let, uh, we're gonna let this cool down a bit so okay. both tests are exactly the same. Okay. So this hot wire will conduct electricity differently than cold wire, right? No, it's just, it adds to it. It's, yeah, it does, but not in a significant way. You just way. don't want to build, make it hot on top of what it is currently. Yeah, we okay. don't want to burn it out. So okay. okay, so let's reset for another test. Very cool. All right, everything's cooled down. Yep. Ready yeah. to try it again? Yeah. Okay, let's do the nanotech. The nanotech. Now guys, same capacity, same yeah. C rating. Yeah. Half the price. Yes, that's oh, true. Okay. So, okay, I'm ready. And go. On. Ready? Oh, wow. Gets you every time. It okay, does. Josh, can you see the numbers? Yeah, I can see them. 9.8 okay. volts. 9.8? 9 9 
that's a lot better. Yeah. Already. Well, we have 317 watts. Wow. So it's actually higher wattage than before. Cause it's, it is delivering better. It is. Yeah. How's the temperature? Uh, it's in the 80s right now. It's holding at the 80s. Yeah, it's holding, yeah. It's mid 80s. Yeah. Pretty good. And What's the amp rate? Oh, 25. It's actually performing really well. Wires are getting warm. Oh, yeah, yeah, temperature's yeah, climbing. Yeah. It's up in the 90s what, what's now. What's the watts in amperage now? I can't see. Literally, I can't see. <laughs> uh, 32 yeah, watts. 30. No, 32 amps. 32 amps. Oh, I'm sorry, 32 amps. Still 9.8 volts. It's holding at 9.8 still? Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, we're almost up to 500 <laughs> milliamps already. Oh, wow. I was expecting it's, it to like. It's holding insane. really well. It's doing a lot better than the other battery. And I can tell you, these batteries have been used three cycles, both. They're exactly the same. They've not been used anything else, just for this testing only. Okay, still above nine volts. Temperature climbing. Oh, drop below nine. nine. Yeah. All, All right. right. Woo, that's hot. Okay, so. Connectors are hot. And it's not puffy. Yeah. No, that's actually, that held up really well. Yeah, the bat and the wires are so hot. Yeah, the wire, the wire actually almost looks darker than red. Yeah. That's why. I can't see anything, it's so f <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't focus. As far as, I guess we'll find out time-wise how long both stay lit, but the one thing we did notice is it delivered more watts, more amps, and the temperature was, was less, it held voltage better, right? It did, it okay. performed a lot better, so it's gonna be really interesting. We're gonna see the results from this camera so we can time the in and out points of okay. the voltage and everything, and we can compare the data, but it did perform a lot better. It didn't puff, it didn't get as hot, it, performed, it delivered more amps and held a higher voltage. All right, friends. Well, obviously we're sponsored by Hobby King, so, you know, theoretically we would have a bias towards them. We did this test on the up and up, but feel free to, if you want to try to uh, compare other batteries to uh, Nanotex and, and other, you know, brands, Try yeah. it out, let us know. Put it on your plane, fly, see what you get. Yeah, and if you do anything crazy, you know, like this, make sure you have a fire extinguisher. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do anything crazy like this. Don't so. do anything crazy, that would be even it. better. But I have a <laughs> test of my own that we could try. What's the difference between the batteries we just tried and just a standard battery? This is 20 to 30 C. That's, uh, well, that's what it says. Yeah. But okay, do you want to try it? Yeah, let's see what okay. it does. Sure. Can we get it? You want me to plug it in? Yeah. Do you have the fire extinguisher? Yeah, yeah I, I have it. Yeah, get that for sure. It's right here. Okay, so we're, we're gonna turn a turn G battery into a marshmallow. Okay, ready? So Hold on, let's don't try it. this at home. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay, right, let's do it. And... Okay, what? And, and there it goes. And below. Oh, nine. Nine. Look oh, at that one. It died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Does there, that explain it? Yeah. Gotcha. You, you can see it. It didn't sustain it nearly as good as yeah. the other You have an okay. amazing two second flight. Yeah. All right, I'm sold. You're sold? That's good enough for me. This is still a good battery for normal use. Just yeah. normal flying when you don't want to draw over 100 amps. Yeah, 20 to 30 Cs is still like 44 to 60 amps, right? Yeah, so that's fine. So. Let's take the, the data inside, the okay. camera and everything, and compare it, and we'll show it. Sounds okay. good. All right, All right. let's go. All right, well, we have a piece of paper with a lot of numbers written on it. The verdict yeah. is in. Nanotech obviously performed a lot better okay. than the Thunder Power. It, did, it delivered 7% more power, and it lasted 8.5% longer than the other battery. Wow, and it's 50% the price. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned that before. Yeah, because I'm cheap. You're cheap. He's frugal. I'm very frugal. Well, the way I see it is you can buy two of these batteries and probably get most of your shipping paid for for the price of one Thunder Power. And that's pretty darn awesome. That is Twice darn the awesome. fun, twice the flying. And darn if you crash, awesome. you have an extra one. Yeah. 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 So that's good. Yeah. So I'm happy. I like so, it. Yeah. I like it. Now, you guys, we're, we're referencing what he found out. There's going to be another video that's going to come out uh, that's going to show what we observed to, to do. You guys put them all side by side and we're yeah. able to compare them right across the board. And first uh, loser, which is no loser in my book, was obviously the point, what, point 0.1, point 0.2 second <laughs> yeah. flash of brightness. Yeah, they're very short power burst from the 20 to 30 C battery. Right. Then the Thunder Power died out, and then the Nanotech. So all in all, the winner is probably Nanotech. Yep. I'd say it. I think it's safe to say that, yeah. It's called. All three categories. Right. Yeah. 
A1. Okay, so should we get on with some more testing? Yeah, I want to fly something actually. Okay, that's good. All right. Well, we want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you go to the forum, flighttest.com, and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, which you should have. You should have. You really should have. That'd but do it anyway if you haven't. All right, we'll see you guys later. See you next time. Bye. The program and functionality and everything is perfect in this radio. And you can simply bring it back to life by adding the 2.4 DIY kit. Absolutely. Flight test.